Well, this award is great, and and I really appreciate it because, uh, well, first of all, SRA is is the Risk Science Association, and and I'm a professor of risk science, and I've been a practitioner since the very earliest days of my career. And the practitioner award is particularly rewarding for me because, well, you know, I'm a professor, but I have also served in state government, in federal government, and I've actually been at the front line of translating risk information to public policy. It's been an amazing career, actually, and my experience with risk assessment go way back to 1983 with a uh, National Academy publication of The Red Book, uh, which really laid out the framework. And uh, my academic mentor at the University of Texas was the chair of the Red Book, Stoney Stallone. So, so I feel kind of that, that risk and, and practice and application have always been part of my work. Along with John Samet, I founded the Risk Sciences Institute to really be there as a tool for practitioners and to continually upgrade the science and our approaches. One of the, the greatest honors was serving as the chair of the National Academy of Sciences that, that updated the Red Book. It's now known as the Silver Book, and I just happen to have it here, Science and Decisions, um, which really provided an updated framework for how we think about risks because science is always moving forward and science applications in the practice world need to move forward as well. In the practical world, I have been on the front lines and at EPA, I saw the good and the bad. The risk sciences are controversial. There are high stakes to risk decisions. And I'm really saddened by the fact that there is so much confrontation and, and debate about the risk sciences when we really should be debating the policies and working to improve the science. The risk assessment and the risk sciences are essential to making decisions in government, to making regulatory decisions, and for industry to make product decisions. Let's see how we can move forward rather than attacking and assaulting in the constant critique of risk-based decision-making, let's see how we can be more constructive, move the field forward, go beyond the very siloed one molecule at a time approach to really better characterization of risk and inclusion of social factors and other things that contribute to risk.